Hey guys, tonight I'm going to show you how easy it is to cook this pre-marinated Black Angus certified tri-tip on the Weber for a beautiful weeknight dinner. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, I just got back from New Mexico last week, had a chance to go up to see James up at Mad Jack's Mountaintop Barbecue. It was an awesome time, great barbecue, and I even did a two and a half hour, almost three hour live stream on Sunday from, from just before opening to just as they were running out of good stuff. So guys, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a little link down here, go check it out. Okay, so it's Monday night, you're hankering for some barbecue. All you got is this little marinated uh, tri-tip. Hey, I got lucky, Sassy went and picked this up. Where's that, Costco? No, I actually got it at Vons. Okay, so Vons, it's one of the local groceries around here, maybe you guys have one too. But these are really neat because they're already marinated for you, kind of takes the guesswork out of it. And, uh, but since I'm gonna be putting this on a direct flame on the Weber with some hickory wood and some hard lump charcoal, and then on with what else? Competition cow powder. What I'm going for is I like that burn char of a crust that Santa Maria style is gonna do. And I'm just gonna have one chance to get it right. Nice and crispy, that's what we like. And we're gonna go for just about a medium rare on the inside, which will give us toward the end of the tips, more of a medium. But since we're gonna go on the direct flame on the Weber, and I'm using some nice cuts of hickory, to create a nice little hardwood charcoal bed. These tri-tips will definitely stand up to that direct flame, not a problem at all. I'm gonna go for medium rare on the inside, right in the middle, which will give us probably more of a medium toward the edges, and that's what Sassy likes. I like more medium rare, but either way, guys, this tri-tip's gonna be juicy, just you wait and see. All right, guys, here we go. If you didn't get a shot of that, there is our beautiful tri-tip that Sassy picked up. Couldn't be easier than this. Now guys, you could do this in the oven, not a problem, but I'm gonna show you the right way to do it. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut off the top and we'll put it out on this pan. And let me give you a close up shot of that guys. Look at that. It's a beautiful color. Um, I really like that. And um, the fragrance is really awesome. Now again, this seasoning is just gonna kind of burn, okay? So I'm gonna add to it. Get some of this Uncle Steve shakes going on here. Okay, Probably doesn't need it. Now that's, again guys, that is gonna crisp up and get black. Don't be shocked guys, it's part of my plan. All right guys, here we go. Now I've got a nice bed of coals getting worked on here. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get over the side, just kiss it with a little bit of heat for now. And just kind of crisp up that little edge there and then flip it. All right guys, so I really recommend you get a nice uh, pair of leather gloves when you're doing this and you're near any fire here. Now I don't have an actual Santa Maria grill. Uh, they have, uh, I think Gabby's Grills makes one. There's a fitting that goes on top of a Weber 22 and you can raise it up and lower it down which is kind of what you'd want to do to kind of give it some indirect heat, well, direct heat far away, and then bring it in for the sear. But uh, what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna flip it that direction, bam. See that uh, hickory flame right there? It's uh, direct searing that meat now, and uh, I think it's doing an excellent job. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick turn there. There we go. Got some nice grill marks there with that uh, Weber little cast iron steel, whatever it is, a uh, little grate there. It looks kind of cool. I really am going for more of a char all over though, and I think I'll eventually get there. Now, be sure to get yourself a instant read thermometer, a good one like this Thermo Pro right here, TP19. You definitely want to keep this handy so you don't uh, get anywhere near uh, well done here in that uh, middle. Flip it over, there we go. Nice. Okay, see that char, guys? That's what I was going for. Okay, a little bit of this is just some of that fat that burnt away. A little bit more of that avocado oil. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do right now 
I'm going to offset it a little bit. Hit with some more avocado oil and cover it up. The vent right over there. I'm still going max heat, so I'm just going to let it get as hot as it wants to get. Probably going to peg out that gauge, but that's okay. And again, I'm going to pull it off about 128. All right, guys, it's been about another 10 or 15 minutes. I've reached 128 internal in the fattest middle part. It's time to take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, tell us about these sides, baby. <laughs> Got a mixed um, chopped salad, southwestern with avocado and lots of cucumber. Cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Now, if you guys want the recipe from Sassy, the Kitchen Queen, be sure to hit us up in the description. She's a little shy right now, but you gotta tell her you wanna see that recipe and uh, maybe I'll... Uh, Get her to give it up. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm gonna go for this little piece right here. All right, guys. Mm, here we go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Sassy's a little shy right now, but she knocked it out of this park getting this pre marinated tri tip because the flavor goes right through the meat, guys. Easy to chew. It's like maybe that marinade helped soften it down a little bit. Oh, and, and the salad, guys. You know, my, I might just put down this plate and eat the rest of the macaroni and cheese. All right, guys, there you go. Quick Monday night or any weeknight dinner. I showed you here that you don't really need a Santa Maria grill. Just give it that beautiful searing right over those hot coals. Offset it a little bit until you come up to 128. Rest it. I rested it covered in foil for about 20 minutes while we get all the sides ready to go. The Sassy's beautiful sides just complement this dish so well, guys. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this, please subscribe. It helps, it helps us out more than you think. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Be sure to hit us up in the comments and tell us what you think of our tri-tip. See you.